fortunes are going to be made this decade investing in tech. Billionaires are going to be made. Millionaires are going to be made. Six-figure people are going to be made. It's going to be one of the biggest wealth creation events of our lifetime because we have so many different market verticals that are ready to take off in a massive, massive way. I want to tell you about some of those in this video and how you personally can benefit from this explosion of tech that we are on the precipice of seeing. Before we get into that, make sure to smash that thumbs up button if you like this kind of content. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already so YouTube can recommend you more of these kind of great videos in the future. So I think the first thing we need to understand here, one of the most critical things we need to understand here, the cycles that new technology goes through. So there's generally five phases of adoption. There's the early innovators phase. That is the best time, of course, to be buying. Believe before anybody else does. Believe at the stage when everyone thinks, that's a scam, that's never going to work. Like electric vehicles, for example. And that is where the money is made. Early believers in Tesla. Phase two, early adopters. Still okay to buy in this area. Still a lot of great gains to be had in this area. You could argue, for example, this is where Bitcoin is right now, still the early adopters phase. Phase three is the early majority phase. You probably, you're a bit late to the party if you're trying to make an entry here. Still money to be made, of course, but some of those early innovators and early adopters are probably selling at this stage. Phase four is the late majority. By this point, a lot of those early investors will be looking to get out potentially. And of course, phase five is the laggers, the last people to adopt any kind of new technology. The asset's now a super mature asset, aka boring, aka there are not massive gains to be had now. So it's important that you understand how we go with these cycles for technology. Now, at, the, at a point, the markets do get saturated. The exponential gains finish. Still okay, of course, if you want to buy some of these assets and hold on to them for a while, like Apple, for example. Apple, people still buy it. It's still a popular investment and, yeah, it pays a dividend. And, yeah, it'll probably keep going up over time. The big gains, though, are gone. Had you bought Apple 15 years ago, you would have made incredible amounts of money betting on smartphones being a popular thing. Now everyone has smartphones. Now we're at the laggard stage where basically every person on the planet has got a damn smartphone these days. The opportunity for massive gains has passed. So let's look at three examples of industries uh, that I think are very well poised for this massive growth. Not financial advice, of course, just something to share with you educationally that you may find interesting. Now, the first big one, of course, is artificial intelligence. Current estimates are that AI is going to grow from $100 billion to $2 trillion by 2030. That's 20x growth for the entire freaking sector. That means that individual assets within that sector are definitely going to 100x, certain stocks and things like this. That's insane. Crazy, crazy numbers. We're already seeing huge growth for AI, huge adoption for AI, huge hype for AI. But of course, it is still early. We are far left on the adoption curve here. We're in the first 5% of users still. And AI will be everywhere and it will be absolutely insane. What about electric vehicles? Another great example. Does it ever feel like everywhere you look, there's a damn Tesla these days? Well, it's kind of because there is and they are everywhere. 23 countries have now passed the 5% tipping point. Median sales are up 55% this year. EVs are taking off. Now, they're not quite at the early innovator stage. We've moved into the early adopter phase, but still massive potential for electric vehicle stocks moving forward. Growth is expanding dramatically. And there's literally countries that have outlawed the future sale of petrol-based cars, meaning that everyone's going to have to buy EVs in the future anyway. So there's huge growth potential for that entire industry. Web3, obviously, uh, an industry near and dear to my heart. According to Coinbase, we could actually be hitting a billion, a billion users by 2025. That's pretty crazy. Extend that out. Estimates are we're going to see 3 billion users by 2030. Now, assuming, of course, that crypto follows the similar adoption rates we've seen with the internet, this is the numbers we're going to end up at. But even just that 1 billion user number, that's about a 200% increase on users just in the next two years. That's pretty crazy. Maybe it's three years. Oh, my gosh. It's going to be three years until we get another five or 600 million people 
owning cryptocurrencies, using cryptocurrencies. The prices of Bitcoin and Ethereum, other top coins are going to go absolutely insane over these years. And yeah, lots of altcoins will rise and fall as they always do. But even just betting on the majors is probably going to be a pretty good bet simply based on the reality that hundreds of millions of people are still coming into the market. And by the end of the decade, most people can't think that far ahead. Being able to think five to 10 years ahead in the Web3 space, the crypto space, feels like a superpower sometimes because most people want to get rich tomorrow or next week at the latest. If you can think five, 10 years down the line, you stand a great chance of putting in some really generational wealth building gains. By the way, speaking of crypto, I run a fantastic newsletter I'd like to tell you about. It's freaking amazing. It's called Wealth Mastery. My team and I spend about 40 hours every single week putting this thing together for you to read for free. About 75,000 people a week are reading this newsletter. We cover all the latest news. We cover lots of alpha for you, altcoin alpha, airdrop alpha, DeFi tutorials, technical analysis, and much, much more. Use the link down below where you can sign up for free. Now, why is all this fun stuff happening? We are reaching a very interesting point, uh, an inflection point technologically, also civilizationally. My childhood, I'm almost 40 now, but my childhood is going to be something that's near incomparable to the world my two-year-old son is going to grow up in. By the time he is 20, I, I can't imagine where technology is going to be. It's scary almost thinking about the potential of, oh my gosh, everything's moved so fast in the last 20 years. Where is it going to be in another 20 years? Where is it going to be by the time he's my age and I'm an old man? It's crazy, crazy stuff. The technology adoption rates are going like this at the moment. It's absolute insanity. Absolute insanity. The exponential age is here. This is nothing short of a new era of human society and economic organization. And these industries we're talking about, AI, Web3, EVs, are all right at the center of it, but not just those. We also have other industries too. We have biotech, we have robotics, we have internet technology, 5G and renewables and mining companies and, and fin fintech and space tech and a lot of other stuff. The future is very exciting when you start to look at it. Massive disruption is here to a huge variety of industries and it's going to affect nearly every facet of our lives, even just AI. Think about this. There's going to be the pre-AI era and the post-AI era. It's going to be that impactful for human existence, just in the same way there was a pre-internet era and a post-internet era. In fact, this could be even more impactful when you think about the scope of what it's actually looking to do. Holy cow, it's crazy. So, by now you're probably thinking, this is all great, buddy. How do I make the ka-ching ka-ching? Glad you asked. Well, the first way is, of course, just to invest directly. Simple, obvious, of course. Uh, most accessible piece of the puzzle for the vast majority of people, just buy and hold innovational products, whether that be stocks or cryptocurrencies or something else related to it. Those, of course, are the big ones. But here's a few examples for you. So if you want to invest in AI, again, not financial advice, not recommending to buy any particular cryptocurrencies or securities, just telling you where the opportunities lie in the industry. So if you want to invest in AI, right now, I personally think the best options are to buy something like an AI ETF. So Global X Robotics, for example, give you a broad exposure to the AI space. Buy an individual stocks, of course, whether you want to do a software like C3 AI or hardware like NVIDIA. Well, there's actually number three. I know I said there's two, but uh, three is actually private round funding for startups in the AI space. Super high risk, hard to get into, massive gains potential. Now, there are a few cryptocurrencies that do work in the AI space and could have some value, but you have to remember when you're buying these cryptocurrencies, it's really a much more speculative bet than buying like an AI ETF. So if you run out and buy one of these uh, cryptocurrencies that are working in the AI space, just realize that it's a quite risky proposition in most cases. Some might be safer than others, but still a rather risky proposition. What about the crypto space more broadly. Well, there's a few options here, of course. Just buy and hold directly the top safe coins. You get your Bitcoin, you get your Ethereum, your Solana, whatever it might be. You dump them in your cold storage wallet and you wait and you make money. That's the theory anyway. You can also buy stocks related to the industry. For example, Bitcoin mining stocks have been very popular over the last few years. Coinbase stocks, probably going to see a massive comeback. 
Third option, of course, you can buy ETFs for Bitcoin and Ethereum, depending on what country you live in. Obviously, the rollout of ETF products has been not super consistent globally, let's say. The fourth option is death or glory in the altcoin jungle. 100x gains are possible. Just not super common for the majority of investors. A lot of people will experience massive losses in the altcoin world because 9 out of 10 altcoins will go to zero, some sooner than others, unfortunately. So you have to be really, really careful here. Know what you're doing if you're trying to play a game. If you don't have the time to really invest in going deep into that area, then you're probably better off sticking with just the top stuff. Buy your Bitcoin, your Ethereum, your Solana, your Chainlink, whatever it might be, and you chill, of course. By the way, full risk disclosure for investing in, well, anything, as well as a full portfolio breakdown of everything that I own in the description of this video. So you know all the things that I own and, of course, what the risks are of investing overall. Um, EVs. Let's talk about EVs. Oh, airdrop farming, too, by the way, for crypto. Something that's uh, underutilized but an interesting way to get some coins. Electric vehicles, if you want to get access to that market, you can buy EV ETFs like Global X's Drive. You can buy individual stocks like Tesla. And of course, you can buy stuff related to the industry like lithium uh, mining stocks like Global X's Lit, for example. So that's how to directly invest. But what about other opportunities? Well, this is an interesting area. I like the quote, AI is not going to take your job, but someone using AI will. The new technology is here. Do not resist it. Be an early adopter of this technology. The sooner you adopt it in your life, the sooner you adopt it in your work, the better off you're going to be and the more ahead of other people you're going to be. Because guess what? If you're like my age and you're totally ignoring AI, for example, guess what? There's a 20-year-old kid out there right now who is deep into AI and is coming for your job. My job. That's why I like AI. AI is pretty cool. got to stay up to the times, man. Look, the easiest way to start dipping your toes into this technology, something like ChatGPT. Go play around with it, experiment with it, try it out, try to use it for writing work emails or writing better work emails or whatever it might be as an example. Simple use case, but might really help you out and show you the power of artificial intelligence technology. Number three, network. Be hungry for what is coming. It's very exciting when you realize how big the investment potential opportunity here is for this entire technological space. Connect with people in these industries. Go to cryptocurrency conferences. Get in spaces in AI over here on X, for example, or listen to these kind of conversations. Try to connect with people. Try to connect with people on social media. Try to get into groups and connect with people. Reach out. Remember, your network equals your net worth. The connections that are makeable in these situations are absolutely massive. There are a lot of people out there that can help you reach your dreams and whose dreams you can help them reach as well. Number four, build. Create the company of the future. Maybe that's not an option for everybody. I might be honest about that. Entrepreneurship is uh, a pain in the ass. Let's keep it real. But it does blow my mind just how hard and how fast AI content creators have grown this year. Like if you looked back to January or December when ChatGPT was just starting, if you'd gone all in on creating AI content, the growth potential was massive. The opportunity is 100% out there for building socials, building businesses, building technology, building websites, building newsletters related to artificial intelligence, to biotechnology, to robotics, to electric vehicles, Web3, whatever it might be. Huge opportunities right now. Absolutely massive. But that window will not be open forever. You have maybe a couple of years to get on that train. Otherwise, you're going to be showing up to the party pretty damn late and you'll already have a bunch of people with big established moats sitting around them. So... Final thought, ignore the future at your peril. The future is coming. The future is coming. You're not going to stop the damn future from coming, are you? No. A lot of clever people have tried, and they have not succeeded. I don't know if anyone's tried, but it's not going to happen, guys. Look, all this technology is going to come, and you're either going to get super rich off of investing in the future, or you're going to watch others do it, until you FOMO in too damn late and you commit the classic buy high, sell low, and then go cry in your beer later on. Don't let that be you. Don't need to be, let that be you. Hustle now, learn, adapt, and adopt this new technology because it's coming. Good luck. See you next time. <laughs>